point. Everything good to go. We're going to be hopping right into the match right now. It is going to be so fun. Bogan hard point. Here we go. We're going to be on with Y Eaton. He's been eating all day, so why not go on with him? Why not? In fact, you got two eaters right now against each other. Juju opens up with the first blood of the series. Bromer for second. Three down early. UGK gonna get some good time right off the bat right now inside Bokash in this first hill though the zigzag is gonna be the break Spider finds it Nick keeps him away from time yeah and right, and right now up we know how much uh how difficult it can be to rack up good time on this P1 just because it is in the wide open so many angles to be able to take out the players there on and hey you can see right now we're on with Juju he's three and one on his name going around the backside of this A side just trying to play for these players that are going to be spawning up he's able to take out one able to take out two beautiful plays coming out with the automaton Three quick kills, make it four quick kills. Those the uh, spawns for Final Strike. You see it on the minimap. They're deep now cool. behind this house. And Juju's got them unlocked for the rotation to Hill 2. And uh, this is something that gets a little bit dangerous. You got the spawn trap set up. And Final Strike, they're struggling to get out. Finally a break now, but this is time out of their hands. And it's a quick 10 seconds now before Final Strike will be able to get into this hill. Yeah, and that was an absolutely incredible spawn trap coming out of this UGK squad. Locking it down, not pushing up too far to make them spawn out, keeping them spawning right where they want them. You can see the big 1v1 engagements coming out. Bro, he's going to be able to take out all of them. My goodness, they are all wiped yet again. This is absolutely devastating for Final Strike, a complete flip of what we saw in the last series we casted. This is a clinic right now for UGK. They're making it look easy, Promar. Keeping it up, Promar, four in a row. Looking for that streak now. If you can find five right around the corner, there it is. And there's the glide bomb in his pocket. Man. So you gotta watch that. If you get full streaks, I mean, talked about it before. That hill five, it's very susceptible to the streaks, but UGK have completely flipped the spawns. Now they are gonna be the first ones here to the house. Yeah, and the big thing that I got to say right now is, hey, this UGK squad, they are coming out exactly how they need to. The rotations are in. The callouts are in. You can see the teamwork, the precision. Nobody's overstacking one area. You can see this player going to be looking over him saying, hey, listen, buddy, I need some help. He's going to be right there able to help him out. That's the type of teamwork communication that you have to have in these situations. UGK, they're doing exactly that. But some big kills coming in from Final Strike. They're able to take out three trades coming in, though. Finally, Final Strike going to be able to break the hill. Gonna be soaking up as much time as they can. Still 30 seconds into this third hill. Plenty of time to get back into this one. Drama up top. Gonna be shut down by Spida. When the kills come through, the break's gonna be out. And Juju looking to put a pin inside this house. Scrap time's gonna be locked down by UGK. And they're looking to eclipse the 100 point marker. Yeah, already. And hey, I got a question to ask you. Are you surprised right now that this UGK squad is coming out so strong in this hard point? You know, no, I'm not, actually. To be honest, you know, you do see Bokash tend to be very frantic and very fast-paced, but at the moment, UGK are playing this flawlessly at the moment, and I've seen the way that they can play a hard point. I've seen them dominate on Kabutu, so why not flip it over to Bokash? I mean, they're playing this perfect. They're making sure they're slaying the lanes, and I'm not seeing a frantic play style of this team. They're not scared to slay the lanes and set up, and they're not being selfish either. They're making sure they're playing the right angles at the right times without overstepping their boundaries. Yeah, big time. You can see the kill feed start to go a little bit red in the favor of Final Strike, but it's not really going to matter because guess what? UGK, they've still got the hill. They've got the angles. They've got the spawns. Players are trying to come in from Final Strike, but they get taken out swiftly. Finally, Y Eaton's going to be able to take out two, but he gets taken out as well. Still, the hill in the hands of UGK. They are absolutely racking up all this time. Yes, you do now. The outside for the break, you can see those red arrows starting to around this hard point but in fact they're actually going to disengage try to rotate over to the sill number five but juju's here first he's going to be able to find two hunting down the third one spider on prone doesn't matter juju's got three in a row here looking to work for the rest of it in the back line one get four make it five six it's just over top of him and finally shut down it's white to get him off that streak it's absolutely gorgeous plays man oh man kill feed going all blue right now you see pro he's already got the three piece glide bomb coming out from juju he's going to be able to connect with that man oh man this ugk squad are absolutely putting on a clinic my goodness now juju just needs to host up where he is 21 and 10. I'm in a phenomenal blowcash right here second glide bomb going to be burned from pro mr keep spider off this time and I like that. You know, you can't collect time of your own, so make sure that you're not allowing any of the final strike 
either. So UGKA looking to set up now for the rotation to the second set. As first hard point, you can see the lock and key on your mini map. That's where we're headed to, and that's where the teams are looking to battle it out. Yeah, middle of the map. You can see they're already starting to get this courtyard control. They know how important that can be. Juju already with a big kill. He's going to be looping on around. This is exactly the type of plays that you have to make to keep this area open. You do not want to give this area up right now. It's massive plays by Juju to be able to stay alive even this long. Two players going to be dropping those. PD takes him out. He gets dropped as well. Kill feed going red. Final strike. They got to start racking up these points. Yes, they can. A whole 100-point lead. Now time for final strike to... Switch things up, change some stuff into the second set. So far, not so good. Pete Asif gonna fall on the outside, four down. It's time now for UGK to silk on Avi. You see the spawn still coming through for final strike in the back line for the rotation to hill two, but still the kills for UGK dominating that feed. Juju is able to find Y eat. Looking to hop back into this hill to soak up the rest of the time, but you can imagine final strike. They're forgetting about this hill one. All eyes on hill two. Yeah, and Mirage, he was able to hit the flank and able to pick up a big kill already to secure the rotations to next. You see, they're still fighting. They have control of this building. They're not going to be giving up. Player 7, he's going to be dropping as well. Man, oh man, UGK, they're able to get these rotations almost every single time. It seems like we got to see a final striker going to be able to break it this time. Mirage, through the barn. Not needing to shoot just yet. Finessing away on the tank. Shots are good. Can't find the kill. Hunting him down with the secondary. There it is. Puts it down. White above the end. Checks it. Kills Mirage. But the trade's going to be there from Juju. Now look at the mini map because they're not done yet. Still 26 seconds. They want to take another swing at this. Spida's in for the connection. It's going to be traded on out. Now drama drops. Mirage keeping the kills on up. Lines up too. Looking for a third. Stun's going to land in the back now. 15 seconds of scrap. Is it even worth it right now? UGK, they're just making sure Final Strike can't get anything, Rome. Yeah, and hey, listen, I don't I don't blame them right now. The way they're playing, they're winning a whole lot of these engagements. And hey, listen, you got every single player on the side of UGK. They are positive. And hey, when you're feeling yourself, you might as well keep the ball rolling. Keep that pressure on. Even though you already know that you can get these, these spawns for next, don't even let them get an ounce of hope. Just absolutely choking them out. 215. They have eclipsed the winning point right now. Success on their minds. Looking to go up 1-0 in the series and set up right now for perfection. Here comes the contest. Pete Asset for the break. Here's the pitch. Finds one. Snaps the second. Spida helps him on out. Inside the hill, though, it's still all UGK as the blue kills come through to the opposite way. Why he is going to get cut off on the rotation now. 20 seconds left and the game is going to be over. You need a break now. You need final strike to get in to force another hill. Yeah, and on the side of Final Strike right now, all the players are negative. Why eat? He is trying his hardest. He's 25 and 28, but it's looking like it's just not going to be enough as all four go down on the side of Final Strike. UGK looking like they're going to be going up 1-0 in this winner's finals. They only need three more points, ladies and gentlemen, and we've seen how well they can hold down this barn. That's not the way you want to start off this best of five, especially in the winner's final 100-point club. From UGK Esports, 250 to 77, they put first strike in the dirt in game number one, Bokash. That's one way to start things off, but it's definitely not the fur, fur sorry, it's not, not the foot that you want to be leaving if you are first strike. So they're going to need a big bounce back into this map number two if they want to keep things even here, Rome. But talk to me a little bit about Bokash. Got a little bit out of hands. What went wrong? Uh, listen, honestly, it just seemed like the rotations, the overall gunfights, they just weren't there. And listen, if you're not winning those 1v1 engagements, it's going to be a long day for you. If you're only able to be shooting people when they're not looking at you, it's going to be rough. And, and, and you know, right there, I've got to be honest, it, it was just overall just not enough from them. We got to see if they're going to be able to bounce back in a search and destroy, though, where things are going to start to slow down. I believe we're going to be going to Berlin. So, yeah, we're most likely going to be seeing a lot of fast day pushes and then the, the start to slow down a little bit, you know, once teams start to settle on into the to the game itself. Folks, we got a search and destroy up next. I want to take a look at our maps and modes just to get another re up on what we have going on. If we could check that one out, that would be phenomenal. I have a feeling I know what it is. In fact, I could check what it is. We don't have to look at it. It's Bo Berlin for that map number two, Rome. Yeah. I, I did it myself. So Berlin map number two, search and destroy. We're going to have that up next. What are we looking at here? 
Hey, listen, man, Berlin search and destroy. Like I said, I like the A pushes. I feel like they're a lot safer. It's easier to take over A, in my opinion, than B. But hey, listen, some people like going outside, playing that risky game, playing those barrels. You know, things can get a little, a little bit explosive over there. But hey, listen, to each their own. You know, teams are starting to get new strategies on this specific map. Even the middle pushes are starting to come out a lot more. So it just all depends on what these teams are comfortable doing. I want to see how the defense the defenses are going to be held because both squads look like they play extremely fast. So I would expect that to carry over to the search and destroy as well. Well, right now you want to tie us up. Like I said, I mean, going into that map number three, hard points, the fact that you aren't going to have a control to split things up, to change the pace of things into that objective game mode for the swing map. You want to make sure that you're going one for one right off the bat. I mean, these two always can really get out of hand in best of fives. If you lose that on the search or destroy, but especially after the showing that we saw on boat Kaj. And I mean, Tuscan in that third map, I mean, you know, it's not going to be any different. I mean, it's going to be just as hard to get around this UGK roster on Tuscan as it was in Berlin. But I mean, the thing is, we've seen this uh, this first strike squad on Tuscan. We know that they're a good squad, but are they good enough to take down UGK on a respawn? That's something to find out in map number three. But in my head, from what I've seen, I'm just not convinced just yet, Rome. The search and destroy, it's going to be it's going to be a big map right now. If your first strike, almost a must win map in my eyes. Yeah, and listen, I'm not mad at that statement whatsoever, you know, especially after the way they came out in that hard point. You know, as you said, map three is going to be a hard point again. So you don't want to go back there, you know, feeling essentially down like you lose this one. It's over. You want to be able to have a little bit of momentum going into it. That way you can have at least a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel to know you're at least going to be seeing that game number four. So, you know, right now, I think that out of this final strike squad, I think that they've just got to, you know, step it up, just go back to their game plan, what they're comfortable doing. And, you know, uh, at the end of the day, you got to play your game. You can't really adapt too much. You got to be comfortable in your own shoes. You can't be trying to do the the most. I'll say you try to do all the extra plays or trying to do the flashy plays that you wouldn't normally do in Search and Destroy. You just got to play, play super sound, uh, play with your team, and keep that communication tight. Hey, is there anything on Berlin that you would like to see highlighted from first strike to bounce back? Like, what do you want to see out of them in the first the first round? I want to see some aggression. I want to see that same aggression that we saw from them in the last series that we cast it. They, they were extremely aggressive on Bokage, uh, S and D on the defensive side and on the offensive side. So I'm expecting them to be extremely aggressive here. That's what I want to see out of them. That same confidence right now as we hop right into it. Here we go. Here we go. Indeed. Once again, a reminder, this is the winner's final winner. This goes to the grand finals. As you look at the attackers here, UGK bomb in the hand of Mirage just outside of here look at the stance for final strike why watching the overextension but player number eight it's gonna be p dasin to get some shots down early why peeks out finds pro mr what a start yeah beautiful first blood coming out right now now mirage he's trying to figure out exactly what to do in this situation is one of those where you're not sure whether you need to rotate out or whether you just need to hold true and you know, right now, that fight's starting to go down on the backside. Juju gets traded out. Mirage able to pick up this trade. It's going to be a big 1v1, and he's not going to be able to win that one as Spida takes him out. And there we go. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. That's going to be an easy defuse coming in for Team Final Strike. A quick oh, trade. Me, for, uh, for UGK. Excuse me. <laughs> exactly. A quick trade at the end there. I mean, <laughs> it was a big kill, you know, for yeah. Mirage, but... I mean, first strike, we're just there for the trade. They they were able to just tag him up, down to 54. It was a 3v1. So, I mean, at some point, you know that he is going to be pretty pretty tagged up, pretty damaged beforehand. So, final strike, they do come out with round number one here to open up this search and destroy trauma. Hasn't had to do anything, 0-0. Zero zero. Just sitting back, like I said, just like that Bokash earlier. Cooking an aid here. Nobody home, though. So, it's going to be Mirage off screen to find that first blood for UGK. Yeah, right now, Mirage, he's definitely going to be feeling good after that one. Just going to be sitting back. Bomb down. Patient right now. And yeah, that is beautiful as Pomp going to be down. Unfortunate. Let's we'll see what Mirage does up here, up top. I don't even know how you recover that. Pro Amar has snuck his way through. If you walk into that boulevard, it is going to be a boulevard of <laughs> dreams. <laughs> to say the least, yeah. It's going to be a long way. I'm not sure if they've got a smoke in the back pocket. I'm guessing not. But yeah, it's just going to be extremely difficult. You see even player number two. He is way back tucked in that corner. And there they go. There is the pinch coming in. First strike going to be winning their second round, I believe. 
Oh, looks like it's one to one now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So a little bit of flip flop with the names. We'll figure it all out right here. So yeah, first strike are able to pick up that round right there. So when we look on the scoreboard in the UI, it is going to be the names flipped, but we do have on the overlay, as you see, they're coming up right now, ah. properly going to be assessed. So team final strike will be on the right side. UGK will be on the left side. So Mirage pops up with a big three piece in that second round to tie us up a big part to play in that one. And, Holding off in that upper third level in the middle of the map. Able to watch those players on rotation and line them up. Smoke's going to be at a B. Here comes the fast plan at a Mirage. Looking to get in there and get that bomb down in a quick succession. And right now they're playing it pretty passive right now. Seems like they're just trying to make sure that these numbers are correct before they go ahead and put it down. You see the trade starting to come out. They're able to get two down. That bomb's most likely going to be going down. Yes, planted for their spawn. So they're most likely just going to be... Oh, man, this nade might be massive. Not able to connect, though. Oh, unfortunate. Out the window. And Dassin in the grave. Spida, 1v3. What magic do you have up your sleeve? Well, come on, man. <laughs> Walks right out to the open, and he's shut down before he can make anything work. So UGK, two quick rounds now, back to back, to put them in the lead. Yeah, he tried to pull the rabbit out of the hat there. Just was not happening. No magic tricks coming in right now. So, hey, listen, nice bit of momentum coming in from this UGK squad, able to pick up that offense. Let's see how they're going to be doing on this defense, trying to stop team final strike on the offensive end right now. A sword. Spider. Oh my. Spicy. <laughs> Where are you holding that? Bomb in hand. Looking to go to the A side. Look at Mirage. Running out. The aggression's going to be through flying. It's Juju. One for one. Trauma has spite his back. Two quick kills, though. Puts them in the numbers. Nick Hate trying to trade this one out again, but caught on the exit. Pro Mara in a 1v2. Makes it a 1v1. That's bumped down. Yeah, Trauma. that is extremely unfortunate to push out like that, especially when he was weak. But hey, listen, his teammate's going to be able to help him clean that up. So a nice offensive push coming out of the first strike squad right now to tie this thing up two to two. If I was Trauma there, I'd be like, come on, man. Like, you're going to make me, you're going to make me get that. You're going to put me in that position. Well, I mean, if you, if you guys know Trauma, from the CCL, I mean, you know that he is a player, that he is going to step up to the plate, and he is going to swing for a grand slam. And so he did. He brings his team final strike back into a tie game, 2-2, two to two, and a quick answer back. And it was a big round, too, because UGK, they were hot out the gates there. Juju flying, but they handle with it in succession. Now Juju drops first. It's Wyatt for first blood. Yeah, beautiful first blood coming out from YE right now. And that's the type of place that they need to keep on building this momentum up because you do not want this UGK squad to get on a roll. You see already YE, he's going to be able to pick up a second one. That's beautiful plays coming out of him. And here, here we go. Pro MR and Mirage, the only ones left right now as they're both going to be over at B. Here we go, 28 seconds remaining on the defuse. Romar is able to take out one, and this is gonna be a massive trade that need to happen. They're able to take out two. One drops, it's only gonna be one remaining, and he gets taken out by Y.E. My goodness, Y.E. picking up the ace right there. Beautiful play. Four kills into the round, making it look as easy as could be. So the defuse is gonna come out, two rounds to answer back for first strike, and it's gonna put them in the driver's seat now for Berlin. Pound for pound we go. As it's been pretty back and forth for both of these squads right now, Rome. Now, switching sides again. What are we going to get out of this? I mean, last time UGK, they decided to fly. Well, Juju specifically literally flew out that door and through the train station. And it didn't work the way they wanted to. So I'm expecting them to meet it with a different a set of style. Maybe a more passive style over to the A side. Whereas the bomb is going through mid. Nick, perfect time for them to make that sniper shine. But... Ooh, dulled out a little bit. Luckily, Pro Amar finds Spida. And right now, on with Nick Hate. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. Up top, player does get dropped. That's going to be Juju. So 3v3 scenario now. You see the bomb going to be rotating on over toward the front of this A site. And that A is pretty wide open if they find out about it. Final strike, though. And Y.E., he's going to be able to pick up one. He gets traded out, though. 2v2 scenario as the bomb is going to be going down at this A site. Are you post plant now? You know, Nick Hate recovers that MP40 in the back pocket. Eeks there, they line up. What? <laughs> they lined up. 
Back to back. UGK now. Or sorry, first strike. Three in a row. And take a look at that. I mean, it wow. doesn't get any easier than that. Yeah, that was about four bullets from a t from an automaton, and it absolutely deleted two different players. That is incredible right there. My goodness. Just, man, the precision coming out right now. Let's see if Final Strike are going to be able to keep up this momentum right now that they've already been able to acquire. Let's see exactly if it's going to be another A push coming out right now for UGK. So yes, three players are going to be pushing up, and one player is going to be a player that has to watch the middle. Stun starting to come out as Juju's getting ready to make his move. As he is. Door gets open. A little bit of a ruckus. Cooks the nade, but they yeah, haven't spawned the player on the inside. Who is that? It must have been dead. Pete Acid because he's down and out now. Spider in a 1v3. It was a 1v4. He's looking for the ace again, but can't get anything more than that. UGK back on the board, making it a one-round deficit. Yeah, and that was exactly what they need right there. That was a massive... Uh, a massive play, honestly, from them, uh, not only for this match, but just for the momentum and, and for their vibe overall. You know, you, you I believe you said the UGK, you know, they were, in your opinion, the favorite coming into this one. So right now they're a little bit on their heels. What are you thinking right now if you're the UGK squad? I mean, one step at a time is search and destroy. Final strike are reading you right now. They're getting those first bloods. They're expecting the aggression out of you. So I just need to see a change in the rhythm from this team. In fact, they are going to meet them inside this library, inside this hill number two. Circumference right through the air. Mirage finds it. Spider is going to go down. Here's the glide bomb. To try to answer back, but nobody's going to answer the call. In fact, it's still going to be numbers to UGK. Now they have control of the library and that's going to make it hard for this bomb to get into the B site. Yeah, 100%. You can see the rotation start to come through already. You can see D, uh, PD, he's already going to be moving up toward the backside of A right now. This is going to be a massive 1v1. He's able to find him. I believe he did see him. No, he did not. Okay, so here we go. Oh, my goodness. And he's able to win the 1v1. Like I said, that's going to be massive. That's going to be opening up all the chances for them to be able to take over this round alone and go up 5-3. to three. But not if Juju's got anything to say about it, is he's going to be taking out Y.E. 25 seconds. The bomb's going to go down. It's going to make it 45 seconds for this retake to come through. Mate might have numbers, but no longer. Pete Asin makes it a 2v2. Evens us up. You see these last two players from UGK to play hand in hand through this train station. Player number five is going to spot them out. Call that out to Pete Asin. And how is he going to move through this? He can just hold this down. Watch that bomb. But I mean, oh, our drama. Taking care of business in the mix. They both push into him, and that automaton gets put to work. Again, they line up, and they put first strike on match, match point here. Yeah, multiple times now that these players have just absolutely lined up, and it's it's pretty interesting what happens because it naturally happens in this game a lot more than it has in past Call of Duty. So just because of you know certain doorways being so small, certain staircases being so tight, just random things you know that uh, that attribute to this game and that situation happening a whole lot more often than not. And beautiful sniper angle coming out from Nick. Let's see if he's going to be able to find something here. Don't think he's going to be able to. And hey, now that you've got this sniper in hand, what's your game plan if you got this sniper stuck in your hand? Oh, oh, here we go. Big 1v1. Spider knows how important this is. Juju, one step at a time. Still hasn't seen him. Why he gets some good timing. Spots the feet, finds the kill. First blood from Juju opens up the map, but Spider hot on his tail. He is able to trade that one out almost instantly. Still the kills come through the numbers in favor of UGK. As Nick K lands the shot with a sniper onto Spider. Bomb down 21 seconds. You need 7.5 and only one player to do so. It's trauma left alone. I mean, it's going to be almost impossible to break through this B side. You got to find the kills and you got to find them now because it's just no time to do so. And I think trauma understands that he's on three in a row and he needs to hold on to the streak. Yeah, definitely not a bad idea out of him right now. He's still going to be looking for that kill though. Not a bullet. He's going to be dipping out, going through the door. Nope. Going to the back. Smart play coming out of him. Playing your life. Playing those streaks. So UGK, they pull it back now to another one round deficit. They need to force a round 11 if they want a 2-0 in this series. But first strike, I mean, their attacks have looked pretty solid. And expecting the aggression out of UGK, they're always able to get themselves out of some tight corners. 
what do you need to see from UGK here? Would you like to see them change up the rhythm? Would you like to see them slow this down or go back to the aggression? Uh, well, I mean, right now, based off of how this final strike squad is playing, my goodness, yeah, just post up in mailbox right now because they are just running straight at you. And, you know, trade coming out early and often in a lot of these rounds, including this one right here, 3v3 scenario pro. It's trying to take him out. Mirage, though, is able to pick up the kill. That's going to be massive. Why eat bomb in hand? Oh. He's going to be trying to make a play. Is he going to be able to? Why he's so slippery. Oh, yeah. I, look how scared you are. Again, they're on top of each other. And I mean, if you look at the history of these players, Pete Hassan's on it. You don't want to be lining up right now. They hear the door open. They're going to the site. Why another one on one goes his way, finessing his way around. We pray for our out just to keep Pro Armor away from this. He's caught by the stun and he's cleaned up from Pete Hassan. That's going to tie us up now in this best of five, one to one after two maps. Man, oh man, solid plays coming out of first strike. You know, maybe they're carrying over that momentum from that Bokage s and right into this one right now because they are looking absolutely incredible in it. You said that it, this is going to be a must-win map for them. And hey, listen, they came out and won it. Yes, they did, Roman. I mean, that is exactly what you need here. I mean, you need that right now. You, you said it. I said it. And this is a good start to a long series right now. You got Gavutu up next for your map number three. And honestly, now that I'm seeing Final Strike warmed up against this team, kind of ready for the aggression that you're getting out of UGK. I mean, this might be, or hopefully this is going to be a different one. You don't want to get 100 point clubs in this hard point again. And Gavutu is definitely a lot different of a story rather than that Bokash leads to be. So possibly a way that now First Strike can turn the tides with some success. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. That's what I'm going to be looking for right now is just to keep that momentum rolling into one of these respawns. You know, no better time to do it than map number three, because guess what? If they're able to win this hard point right here, that is going to be really hurting this UGK squad mentality. Uh, they, they are going to be down tremendous after that one. You know, I'm sure they've got a lot of high aspirations to win this event overall today. So, you know, hey, listen, if you're going to be able to go up two to one, really right. put them on their heels, that could be absolutely massive. Of course it is, folks. We're going to head to a break. When we come back, Gavutu, map number three. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Philly Esports Holiday Bash. Again, it's myself, Seymour, alongside Rome, bringing you this action. Rome now heading into Gavutu. It's going to be interesting because we've seen the best of both worlds. We've seen the hard points go the way of UGK. We've seen the search and destroy go the way of Final Strike. So talk to me about Gavutu. Do you expect a change? Um... Honestly, no, I don't really see why why a change would really happen. I'm expecting UGK to come in, getting a little bit of revenge, wanting to feel that, uh, you know, feel that momentum right now and uh, uh, may, might be going to Tuscan instead. OK, it looks like, yeah, we are going to be going to Tuscan, it looks like, because that is map number three. So before we go to Gavutu, we're going to be heading over to Tuscan. You know, not a big deal, because guess what? We are going to be seeing that Gavutu hard point no matter what, because we've already tied this thing up one to one. So, hey, before we go to that, We'll be at Tuscan. It's all good. No, no need to hide yourself. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's, you're, you're We've good, seen man. so you're many Gavutus from map number three. You know, it's just like, it's in my head now. If Gavutu lives in here rent free right now as a map number three. And yeah, Tuscan, map number three. I mean, we I talked about this before, and you know, we saw um we saw the final strike just in our previous winner semifinals here against their opponents, and it was hard because they were it's hard to see them coming out on top of this because they were out slaying. But it was still a close game. Like they were heavily out slaying. And the fact that they're able to, or they were letting a team kind of get away with that, yeah, it has me worried about this matchup now against UGK, a team that you're definitely not going to let, or a team that's not going to let you get away with that for free. So you definitely think that UGK, if given the opportunity, are going to punish that tendency that we see at a final strike on maybe kind of picking up the slay category, but not getting in that hill enough. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, that's what we got to look out for is how that teamwork is kind of come into play. You know, sometimes, you know, earlier in the cast, even the last uh, last hard point that we saw, we saw teams, they would slay out, push up on the specific map, but they didn't get back to the point, especially uh, especially the well at the very back. You know, they just pushed out instead of going back to get to the point. They had to turn around and be like, somebody's got to get on the hill, guys. Somebody's got to get these points, rack them up. So let's see exactly if UGK is going to be able to do that right here. Is they're already able to get some points early on the board as they've got complete control right now. Off the bat, 
UGK collecting this time. Final strike, holding on to rotations and not pushing up too, too far. They don't want to give this up just yet. So you look at player number seven through the middle of the map, playing spoil to the players who want to rotate through there. But inside the mix, it's Mirage two in a row now. And a 2-0 and start is so far so good right now. 30 quick points right off the rip. Rattled off for UGK now pushing for these spawns in the back line. Still, final strike, holding things down. And that's going to be most, important, most important when you're looking at the rotation. Yeah, 100%. But man, oh man, I got to give it to UGK to be able to get all of this time, essentially, on the first hill. 49 to 0. That's going to be massive. Now, final strike. They've got to answer back and make this a money hill of their own. Let's see if that's going to be possible. Because right now, this player in Mirage is going to be flooding in. He's going to be the last one alive. He's going to get dropped as well. That's all four down. Team final strike. They are making the whole kill feed blue, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, finally putting their foot down here. Dassin. Catching Shrays off that, eating these stuns, still walking away with the kill on the, uh, on the Pro MR. So four in a row now. Final strike, collecting some time here as they have brought themselves right back into this off the second hill. Still some early time, so nothing really set in stone just yet for a lead. But Trauma, he's found his fifth in a row. That's going to give him a glide bomb now. And if you look at where we're going to this hill number three, that glide bomb potentially might open up a window of opportunity. Oh, yeah, 110%. You talked about how important streaks can be. He's going to go ahead and call it in right now. Here we go. Let's see if he's going to be able to hunt him down. No. And that is why sometimes it's a little bit better to just wait a little bit, just have a little bit more patience. But, hey, it's all good. You know, he tried to make the play happen, just wasn't able to. Trauma goes down, though. That was unfortunate right there for sure. So used to the streak, he doesn't find a kill, and he doesn't hold off on blocking those spawns. And look what it gives him, UGK now in control of this hill in the rotation. And even more Juju splits right down mid. Going to find a player, shoots Trauma into the back. By the time he's cut down, this is what, 20 seconds off the board? Almost 30 seconds off the board that UGK are soaking up happily. Finally, here come some kills from Team Final Strike. They break on in. Wyatt clears it off. They're going to start collecting this time on their own front. 25 seconds to be gained here, but UGK, they spawn up on the rooftop, so they're not going to be too far away from it, and they're back into things like they never left. Yeah, and those are that, that, that's the thing about these spawns, is sometimes they can be so close where it feels like, man, I just killed that guy, and I'm fighting him 10 seconds later. That is wild, but say, hey, listen, it can happen so many times. Simple as that, man. These players are going to be spawning up, rotating early, make sure they can hold these spawns as long as possible, and these players have done such a good job of that overall right now. 14-point game coming into this one. Here we go. Massive kill coming out of Mirage. Is he going to be able to pick up another one? No, as that's a nice play coming out of Spider taking him out. Yes, it is. Into the church. First one's here are going to be UGK. Slaying the lanes. Bro Omar finds two. Mirage to find the third. Eyes on to the fourth one. Nikate next up with the pistol. Finished with the automaton. Very efficient, if you ask me. The kill's still coming through. Oh, red into the feed. Finally, trauma splits the difference here. 28 seconds. You have to be thinking that if you don't break now, you got to be keeping your eyes on that control center. Why eat into the mix through the door? Can't find the shots. Juju, it's going to take him down. This last couple times being fought about right now, Spider wins a big one of one to lock it. Spider sitting at 10 and 10 right now. Trauma sitting at 11 and 6. He's already had a streak to his name, wasn't able to make anything of it, but still, he was able to get that. So he's going to be keeping looking to build on that momentum that he's already acquired right now. He's sitting on a two streak. He's just trying to play this one passive, play this one safe, and he might need to get a little bit reckless if he's going to want to be able to help his team out a little bit more than he already is. Here we go. That's a massive kill. Let's see if he can rack up another one. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, not going to be able to take him out. Does get the assist, though. So he's working his way toward that glide bomb. Into the control center here. 122 to 88. Pete Asin inside. Full shrieks, but it's a very enclosed hard point. Oh, he's going to call it out. Wow. We can either force the gunfights on the inside or take him out on the outside. Well, here they come. Nate's going to be in. Juju on the inside. He's going to find that kill. The streak amounts to nothing. When the fights are forced, it's going to be team final strike that come out on the bottom side of it it's a big break from ugk yeah it's an absolutely massive break as you stated nine and nine for nick hate as he takes that challenge but why he, he is eating them all he's taking them all out he's able to take out two in succession before he gets taken out trauma able to pick up a nade kill on mirage to get all these trades coming in as you see right now the squad and final strike they're starting to build up this momentum right now getting this lead 
little bit dwindled down. These players do get taken out, but it is still going to be overall final strike that have control of this hard point. White around the corner. Nick Cage got his number. Thought I heard another shriek. I did hear another shriek. It's Pete Assens. Glide bomb finds Nick Cage. Clears off the hill, but look at that. It's going to force the gunfights again from UGK right into their hands. And again, it's just final strike giving up an opportunity with that hill. 22 seconds that they could have had, but they decided to use the streak and force the gunfights. Yeah, precisely. 55 point game right now. Ooh, nice plays coming out of UGK and Team Final Strike. But hey, listen, right now, only one team can prevail on the hill. That's going to be Final Strike because they get all four down. Oh, my goodness. Spida was trying to make a nasty clip right there. Finally, this UGK squad is going to start to be answering back as these rotations are going to be coming in yet again. 167 to 123. Plenty of time to be played here. Woo! Three down for Final for Three down for UGK. It's final Strike, though. In control of this hill. Off that break, Y.E. looking to catch the rotation, so he does inside the mix. To make one on one, Mirage up top, off the ropes, hoping to find Y.E. And there it is, the break again. Rome, every single time you see final strike into the hill, UGK knocking on their door. Yeah, UGK has done a great job of answering back each and every time. And now you see they're just going to be racking up these hill points right now as Spida finally is going to be able to break it. There's a massive 1v1. He loses that one, though, as well. Pro from UGK needs to stay on the hill. It's taken out as well, trying to throw a grenade. So here we go. Rotation's already coming out right now. As you can see, that lock on the mini map. We're going to be going all the way to the back, ladies and gentlemen. Meet me in the back alley. So he does. But so do his friends. Spider, Wyatt, come out with two. In the back line, it's Nick Hate with the automaton, able to transition to a second. 46 seconds opened up. Here's a glide bomb from Mirage. Looking to clear out these players, and he does. Pete Assen's going to be on the receiving end of that shriek. And look at Mirage, quick to the call. He's going to cut through mid, look to catch these players from behind. Got a little bit awkward, Spider. Yeah. Gets down and dirty. Finds two, but still not able to find this time. And UGK, they're okay with that. Yeah, 110%. They are fine with just stall stalling it out, stalemating it out. At this point, they got a 65-point lead. They are good to go. It's only 15 seconds left on this hard point. You see three players from UGK. They're going to be rotating out already, and it's going to be a massive exchange right now. So they're going to be working to flip these spawns right now. This is going to be massive player four and three going against player number eight. This is going to be a big exchange, but player four comes out on top. That's going to be Juju as he gets taken out, though, in the back. So it looks like the spawns are still coming in for final strike. Strike, my goodness, and that could be massive. Here we go. This is going to be a big exchange right here. Who's going to win it? It's going to be pro, and that's going to be exactly what UGK need is they're going to be coming in off the backs of that and taking over this hard point. Absolutely opening things up now. You see the spawns from Final Strike in the back line. They're going to be getting onto the seal like it was nothing. Why around the corner, but it's Mirage. It's Juju. It's a lot of players from UGK stepping up to shut them down. Two down again. Final Strike is not able to get into this hill. Pro Amar. Back into the mix. Drops quickly. Pete Assen on the end of that one. 227. They can end it here still, but with that, the condition comes through, and we're going to be seeing another hard point. That's 110% right now. Got to start getting those rotations over. You can see all those arrows. They're starting to make their way over. They understand how important this final hill is going to be. This potential final hill. Shoot, I'm not sure if this squad and final strike might be able to start a comeback situation. But right now, it's UGK. They've got the rotations. They've got the new point. And uh, only five remaining. It's looking like it's going to be a UGK hard point. Ooh, it might be that case. Five seconds left. They're inside of it. They're soaking up this time. You need to contest this one. The nades are good. And oh my, are they ever good. Ooh. Three in a row just from those lethals. Now, why eat? And he's going to look to play that front line. Juju catches him out. Dash in on the flank. Locks down two in a row. And the connection for the hill. Spita cleans it up. So, still in it. Not out just yet, but... Only two seconds left. Final strike. They want to close it out inside this hill. And it seems like they're going for it again. The clear. The time. That's it. Tuscan yep. goes the way of UGK. 
Yeah, UGK overall, you know, looking incredible in these hard points so far. And, hey, got to tip my hat to them overall. And, you know, listen, we're going to be going to yet another hard point again. And that is the thing is if you have the momentum in this game mode when, hey, listen, there's three in a best of five. If you can win three out of three, you're going to be good to go. It's going to be all smooth sailing for you. And that's what it might be looking like be the, could be the case for this UGK squad. And you know what this means? It means we're, we're going to Gavutu. You know, oh, might have okay. been wrong. Might have been wrong the first time. I'm not wrong this time. We look yeah. back at it. Let we know it's coming. We know yeah. it's coming. Mm -hmm. Gavutu's going to come through. And if you are final strike, I mean, you were getting the kills. You need to get the rotations this time around. And I think that's where we've really been seeing final strike thrive is in the rotation battle. They do a good job at slaying out when it does come to the next hard points. But it's when you're looking to lock things down that it gets tough. And you look at Bokaj, you look at Tuscan and how quick things can get, how quick things can get out of hand. And I don't blame them for having trouble holding down those hills. It's a little bit easier to slip through and find your way into those hard points on smaller maps like those two. But now Gavu to is a lot more open it's a lot more um susceptible for those ar anchors and you can look for those power positions to rip on through and if i have to think i mean final strike they might be able to find a new form on this map yeah maybe and uh, i gotta say hopefully that's just what you gotta hope for out of the case because i'm gonna be honest you know we we want to see a game a game five mm -hmm. we want to see a game five round 11 it's what we all absolutely love to see so i'm here for it and listen final strike you're gonna need to pick it up for that to happen so listen i'm rooting for you to win this one simply because guess what for selfish reasons only i want to see a round 11 game five so listen i'm hoping that you're gonna be able to pick it up right here because listen the first couple hard points they did not go in final strikes favor whatsoever it just looked like ugk they could break their 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 hold whenever they wanted it seemed and so are they going to be able to keep that pressure on on Gavutu right now I'm guessing so because as you said it's more of a wide open map so we got to really see how these 1v1 engagements are going to be going it's definitely a change I mean we went to Berlin search and destroy it was a lot more open it seemed like there was a lot more comfort to the hands of final strike when it came down to that one so maybe the change in I mean, I don't know the word to use for it. I'm just going to say openness like a like a dull knob right now. But I mean, you I have to say Gavutu just in its own is going to be a lot more provided for the ARs to step up and shine. And I think when you're looking at a team like Final Strike, when you have Pete Assen and Trauma with those assault rifles, with the automatons, they are players who have been slaying out right now. They need to be the ones to give Spida and Waid the openings they need to get into these hills and soak up this time. It's going to be crucial to get to this map five. And just like you, I mean... It's, it might be selfish, but I want to see it too. I want to see a game number five. If it does go to a game five... Who do you got taking it, Rome? Listen, I think it's going to be six to five. A final strike. I'm going to say it. I think that they'll have the momentum and be able to carry it in. And listen, it's going to Bokage map five. So I'm going to roll with them. I like the way that they were playing Bokage. They came out very fiery on defense and offense. And I'm not sure that this UGK squad will be ready for it. I'm going to roll with the boys in final strike, winning an offensive round 11. I'm calling it. So don't get me wrong. You not only want to see a game five, but you want to see a game five round 11. Yeah. You think it's going the distance? This is I dig it. I'm down for it. I'm down for the long one right now. We were one round away from getting it on Berlin. So, I mean, why not? Why not? Give it to us on Bokaj. But before we get to Bokaj, we got to go to Gavutu. So it seems seems like they're getting ready. What do you want to see off the rip from these squads? Hey, listen, I just want to see winning the first engagements. That initial kill feed is so massive on a map like this because, listen, you can die on Gavutu first and not know exactly where you're going to be spawning up next. It is that big of a map. The spawns, they can be wonky at times, you know, but uh, yeah, you just got to be able to live through them. So let's see who is going to be able to get these first engagements. And so far, ooh, a lot of red, but not exactly the type of red you want to see. This pro is going to be taking himself out. I'll try it, though. Soaking up this time, Nick Hate throwing some shots down lane. Feed Assin comes out with one. Back and forth they go. Very split, very dusty. But as the dust settles, Pro and Mars able to lock down two and lock down this time. And that's going to be huge right now as you look at this minimap and you can see the spread right now that UGK are going for. Mirage is setting up to pick them off as they rotate back into this. And that's exactly what you see. Perfect four down. UGK, that is a fantastic start to give it to. Yeah, and Pro MR 5 and 2 to his name right now. He was really able to lock down that entire hill. 
see Juju right now. He's just picking up all this scrap time for his squad as the rotations are starting to come out for this bottom boat hill. And oh my goodness, man, they just absolutely have them read like a book. They understand completely where they're going to be spawning. And that's what you love to see from a team like this in the winner's finals. You know what I like about this UGK team is unlike us who want to see that game five, they're not selfish. They play so <laughs> patient. They utilize all their utility before taking a gunfight and they make sure they cross their T's and they dot their I's before getting into the danger zone. And honestly, it's what's transitioning them to take these hard points now. So that's going to be unfortunate for Spida. He takes down YE with that stun. It allows UGK to get back into this time as that's three down for the blue squad. Almost a hole four. It is going to be a hole four now. You got to be looking. P3, we're heading to the beaches again. And the first ones here are going to be UGK. Look to keep the snowball going. Man, and for them to be able to pick up all this scrap time and to be already at next, just having it locked up. As you can see right now, Pro MR, he is over there at next. Man, they're not even getting giving up the scrap time. Beautiful plays coming out right now. And this UGK squad, they are just racking up all of this hill time. My goodness. And... Ooh, this is very, very, very disturbing for the side of Final Strike right now. Only six points on the board. I mean, this is the team that only allowed eight against them earlier, against ATK Gaming. Yeah. I mean, you know that they're dangerous on this map, but it's like, how dangerous when you're going up against a team to the caliber of Final Strike? Well, so far, they have looked like the team to beat. But now into the hill three, you get the break. Some good time out for final strike over 18 now, but 102 to 18, you need a big mountain to climb as Juju's gonna hop in for the remaining scrap time. Doesn't seem like anybody's really gonna be close to contest this for final strike or even want to contest this. You're looking at the rotation battles and who else but Nick Hay to start this one off. It is only gonna be good for one, but now it's Promar's turn. It's just going to be locking down all of this scrap time. My goodness, they are up by 102, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, final strike. They're going to be able to start to get some points on the board here. But at what cost is this UGK squad starting to pinch them out? Figure out exactly how they can open up into their base right now. As you can see, the UGK squad, they're setting up a pinch right now. They're setting it up beautifully. Yeah, Spina, a little bit frantic in the back line knows somebody's back here but doesn't know exactly where they are juju sneaking his way into the back line oh and he's gonna fall unfortunate so the blank comes up for nothing still inside of things it is final strike soaking up as much as they can mirage big win tries to go for the second pistol not able to walk out as the trade from juju to dethrone that player out of it but you still have the spawns up for final strikes so they're able to get back into the sill as if they never left and a little bit chaotic here as player number two actually spawned deep into this radar. Is Promar going to check it? He does, and nothing more free than I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, and they were able to get 47 points on that hill, so they were able to turn that one into a money hill, if you will, of their own, and hey, right now they're trying to add insult to injury as they're able to get the spawns, get this next point as well. A lot of trades coming out, though, as that kill feed is going back and forth, so... We just got to see exactly how long one of these teams are going to be able to hold it down. It looks like UGK finally are going to be able to take control. Oh, Mirage. Peek through the window. Nobody home. Shots are still good here as haven't been able to step into hill number five just yet. Mirage is second off spawn. You can see the rotation from UGK putting some priority back to the rotations. Off hill number one, and that pistol's good. Mirage, another one bites the dust. That's going to be a glide bomb in his back pocket. And the scrap time lockdown. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he's going to even want to wait to call this one in. We know how, uh, how lethal that glide bomb can be when players are rotating over to this next point. We just got to see exactly, going back to P1, how they're going to be playing this one out. And in my opinion, I'd be calling in that streak, but we just got to see exactly if that's going to be the case. Yes, it's going to be calling it in. Here we go. Going to be able to take out one of the players. And hey, listen, that's exactly what you need. So the squad is going to be starting to rack up these points one at a time. Okay. So this is a good start now. 36 seconds. You can cut this lead down marginally. In fact, but you need to get the kills. And when the kills come through, it's just UGK dominating in that lane. Why he's able to lock down one, can't line up for the second one. Juju is able to trade him out. So the break from UGK now puts them back into the time factor, taking their lead to the next level. 
60 point lead now looking for 70 at the end of it they're going to be disengaging from the artillery gun and looking to lock down the bow there's a big rotation battle going on player number five mirage has slipped on through is he going to do damage he does oh my word yeah and right now it looks like one of the players has slipped out the lobby unfortunate but hey right now is ugk squad they're saying look we're man down but it doesn't matter we're not hands down ladies and gentlemen we still got our wits about us it looks like they're gonna be battling it out is hey listen they're still able to rack up this time right now in this bottom boat hill and oh my goodness no ugk in the 3v4 ladies and gentlemen they don't care man down it does not matter no it doesn't I am, I, I'm losing, I'm lost for words right now. A hundred percent, like this is a 3v4 and they're making it look like this. Wow, finally a break and a final strike. 22 seconds left. You got full streaks under Mirage though and rotating over to the sill. I mean, a good break. He set this one up. It doesn't matter how many players you are. You got to get through those ARs and UGK, they've made it look near impossible. Yeah, right now UGK, they're just going to be setting up. Oh! Yeah, that was absolutely disgusting coming out of pro. And that that's what we're saying, man. This is a time and time. It's absolutely disgusting. That's a beautiful one as he takes out himself and all three play. Oh, not himself. He takes out his teammate as well as two enemies. So that was just a beautiful play all around coming out of Mirage. Now Spide is going to be locking this one up. So they're going to be racking up these points. There's 45 seconds on this hill. So realistically, UGK, they need to break this hill at least once. If they Intrigue. don't want this squad, this final strike squad, to be able to start really taking this lead. Here comes the precision airstrike. Got to be careful, though. Promar recovers the SMG. The shriek doesn't take him out of the hill, so a little bit off target. With this 4v3, final strike have pulled themselves back, but it looks like Nick Hate is back into this lobby. UGK still has a 30-point lead, so they can rotate over to this fourth hill and put this one away now. Yeah, here we go, Nick Hate sitting at zero and zero. Unfortunate that this long into it, he hasn't been able to get it. Nah, I'm just messing with him. But he is back. Hopefully, they'll be able to, you know, make this uh, make this statement right now because they had a ton of momentum before he did slip out of the lobby. So hopefully, for this UGK squad, they'll be able to lock things down, break this hill in the back, and you can see Juju right now. He is fighting for his life back here, and this could be massive if he could stay up and pick up a couple kills. Nick able to pick up two massive kills in the backside, and here they go. They're going to be flooding in, trying to take this one over, and they should be good to go for a while. That's a oh. nice day, though. The sun, pretty deadly. Promar, pistol out. Not the get of choice. Kills coming through. Three for final strike. Juju gets the break into the hill. Still contestions out. Has to win a few more gunfights if he wants time. And time he's going to get with the help of his team. They're over 200 points. UGK now looking to get in striking distance of the victory of not just the map, but the series as well. As Final Strike, another break into that hill four. Now it's going to be a battle back to this fifth hill. The rotation, the race, call it as you will. Final Strike will be here first, but UGK, you can imagine they're not going to be gone for long. And nice shots coming out of PD right there. He's going to be moving on up. Ooh, you hear this? You hear the kill streak coming in? There it is. That's going to be able to take out one player. So, man, oh man, final strike. They might be able to tie this one up right here. Looks like that's going to be the case. We got to see exactly how UGK are going to be able to flood in. They're able to take out one through the wall. Nice plays. Two players remaining. That's going to be another trade coming out, man. Some even trades right now between both of these squads. Spina, can he go big? He's got the help of Trauma. There he is, three down. The sun's gonna be what takes him off that hill. You have an opening, you have a window of opportunity. Juju's looking to take it, but Pete Asin from afar. Final strike now, looking to put this one away. It's 15 seconds into the till, so we will see a rotation to the third set. UGK will be the first here, but will they find the kills? It doesn't seem like that. Spida down and dirty. He's gonna find it. He looked at this flank happening. Juju was the one on the inside. And on the outside, Pro Omar takes down Pedassin. Y eats wide open in the end of it. He is gonna find Pro Omar, but they know exactly where he is. Doubles down on two, finds a third. Can he do it all right now? Fourth is gonna be on the inside. Y E holding his own right now. 14 final strike. There's the break, and that could be the map. Yeah, that just might be. My goodness, Y.E. went absolutely massive right now. He's on a five street right now. He's got the glide bomb in his back pocket. That's going to be extremely massive coming in. 
Jones. Right now, Mirage, he is 35 and 23. My goodness, 31 and 24 coming out of Pro MR. They are doing everything they can to claw back into this one. That just doesn't seem all too plausible right now because, hey, listen, final strike, only one point away. They're going to do it. We go to a map number five. UJK down a player in the lead most of the time. By the time that fourth player goes, they still have a 30 point lead, but when the hill's gone, it's a marginally tied game. Final strike, they do enough to hold on tight and they hold on for the long run there. They go all the way to the last round. It got a little bit close into that first hill, a little bit back and forth, pretty scrappy on Gavutu, but we're going to be seeing that Bokash search and destroy at the end of things, Rome. After all, we get blessed with this map number five and final strike to stay alive here in the winner's finals. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a good one, man. It's going to be a very good one, even though we probably thought coming into this one that UGK were most likely going to win this hard point. They looked very, very strong up until that player did drop. So not really surprised up to that point. Uh, but hey, listen, at the end of the day, you didn't win the map. You got to go to the final map. We're going to S and D. So listen, man, I'm not going to say that I called it or anything, but I might have called it a little bit. You know, we might be seeing around 11 manifestation. It's a real thing, Rome. Oh yeah, you made, it, you made it happen. You you made that guy disconnect from. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> chill, chill, it's, chill. it's not true. It's, it's not true. <laughs> no point fingers here, guys. But we got search and destroy coming up next. Game number five over the horizon. Stay tuned to check it out. We're going to a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, to the Philly Esports Holiday Bash Winners Finals. We got map number five right now. Rome is going to be a big one. Bokash, Search and Destroy. Why don't you give me a little bit of run through what we've seen so far? So far. Listen, we've seen a super back and forth series right now. All right, UGK, they were able to take map one hard point. And then we saw this squad and final strike. They were able to come back in the search and destroy on Berlin. They were able to tie things up 2 2. Then we went to another hard point on Tuscan. That was all UGK. Then we went to, uh, to Guva 2. And uh, guess what? Final strike. They were able to final strike them back. And now we got a 2 2 situation. We got a game number five. Let's see if this goes to round 11, which is what I'm hoping for. What a way to answer back, Mirage. Finds a kill. 2v3 numbers to final strike right now, but it's going to be a tough one. Mirage still has that bomb. They have to get rid of player number five. If they want to get this bomb down at a safely. He's up top and just listening for a sound cue. So player number four is going to be back here. Shots to the ground. Oh, my word. Must have been through the door from up top because that was something I've never seen before, but it is going to be it. a slow pace right now, Rome. 36 seconds to get this bomb planted and looks like they're headed to B, which might not be where you want to be. Oh, but yeah, it looks like this player in YE is going to be able to get the bomb down. It's going to get traded out, but he was able to at least call that out. So UGK. Looks like they are going to be good to go to get their first round on the board. Man, oh man, let's get, let's let the back and forth happen. I think it's going to be a lot of back and forth. I mean, so what a way to open up for first strike. Just taking them down early on, putting the numbers up, and then maintaining a player up top to watch in case that rotation came through the doorway. He got some shots into uh, to Mirage, force him out of that house, over to the B site, exactly where White wanted them to happen now switching sides onto attack team final strike pushing to the a side is the bomb stun's gonna land on hawaii look at mirage it's gonna cost him gets aggressive and he's gonna be the first blood yeah extremely unfortunate right there and that's just not what you want especially on the defensive end you just want to play patient pay, play passive and that was a pretty easy of a read right there and i'm pretty surprised that he went for it and now this squad and final strike uh, they're going to be looking very, very good right now. Or this UGK Ooh. squad, excuse me, is very hardy. Have dropped three, now four players. So UGK, they're going to be answering right on back. I'd be a little bit worried if I was UGK right now. I mean, or, <laughs> um, oh man, <laughs> Final Strike have looked dominant on the search and destroys, and UGK they they haven't really looked their best in this game mode. And I mean, their hard points are on point, but. When it comes down to the search and destroys, this is where they look the most open, really, for loss. 
And Team Final Strike, they are definitely exploiting this right now. P. Dassin, four in a row. Looking for that shriek. He just needs one more kill. And look at all four players are going to stack in the A side. White's going to go down. Mirage is second. That shriek's off the board for P. Dassin. It's Vita for the trade, but it's only one still numbers to UGK. Yeah, now the only player that's left is going to be Spida. He's on a three spree of his own right now in a 1v2 situation on this defensive side. What is he going to do? Looks like he's Ooh. just going to wait as they're going to be sneaking in. He does spot a player. He also hears the bomb start to go down, so he understands Ooh. exactly where both players are. Is he just going to dip out or is he going to stay and fight? It looks like he's going to be making the sneaky play, throwing that smoke. Might be trying to throw them off. So both oh. players are going to be back in the barn. He might be able to get some good timing and he's going to be able to win the gunfight. Now he's got to heal up just a little bit as this player is going to be coming around the corner. Here we go. This could be a massive 1v3. No! He gets shut down. Such a smart play. It, it got a little bit scary when he was on the platform and he got shot from uh, a player deep inside that P2 area, but he was able to escape, throw that smoke down, kind of bait them out, and a quick heads up play to push into the barn. Finds one, sets up for the second gunfight, just not expecting it to come so soon. And that is going to be UGK putting themselves on the board first round for themselves. So. Cuts the momentum from Final Strike. Switching sides again. Back onto the attack. Last time we saw this bomb. Head over to the A site. As the rest of the players were expecting the aggression through B. They got that first blood onto Mirage. But the smoke's going to be out through the middle of the map. Looking to bait some players of UGK outside of this house. While the bomb just fishes for information. Right now we're on with Spider. You can see he is just feeling this squad out, just trying to make sure that he's going to be good to go to push on in as they're going to be getting this mid control. It looks like this might be a B push coming out as they're trying to get control of this area. It's going to be a massive play out of Nick, though, if he's going to be able to win it. Yes, and that is a massive first blood coming out. The bomb is going to be down on that B site. Now you just got to play solid defense coming in. But, oh, Juju is able to pick up another one. And just like that, Nick, he's going to be adding to his tally. Now, 1v4, 1v4 situation for Trauma. Nick couldn't have played that better. And Trauma in a 1v4, 29 seconds left. I expect him to get cleaned up. Juju spots him out. Stun's going to land in. I'd imagine Trauma is not long for this world right now, Rome. If it's not the kill, it's going to be the time because you do see Pro MR is waiting patiently on that site. Shots going to come through. And there you have it. Final strike are going to now be tied up two to two as UGK have strung together two for themselves. So bring themselves back. It's excellent right now. We saw two quick rounds from first strike. I mean, UGK just make sure that they're known that, hey, we're not out of this just yet. Yeah, it's a really back and forth game right now. Not trading one for one, but trading two for two. Interesting enough. So we'll see exactly who's going to be able to to lock it down. And how are you feeling about this map overall? Are you feeling like it is still a, def a defensive map, or do you feel like the offense is starting to get a little bit a little bit easier, uh, a little bit easier time? Right now, you know the way that final strike started. I expect them to I expect them to run away with it, but UGK shows that they still have some progression here. Nick has shrieks. He's gonna drop that glide bomb, force the gunfight into Pro MR. First blood traded from Drama on that B site. Is that bomb down? No, it's not. Player number one, Mirage, still making his way up into the high ground here. Bursting out through the door. It's another player. Spida on the inside is able to find one. The trade again leaves us even two on two. And now Mirage can take this bomb for the A site where it's wide open for a plant to go down. Two on two, 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 two. This is a very important round right here. These next set of trades could be massive. Okay, so both players did spot each other. He spotted him in the window and he spotted him crossing two A. So we got to see exactly how these squads are going to be reacting. You can see player number five in PD. He's going to be holding true, but he's going to have a player coming up right behind him. That's going to be massive. As you know, he's the player on B. So there most likely is going to be a player rotating over. And knowing this, they're going to go ahead and put the bomb down anyways. He's going to be looking over him. I like the play out of this UGK squad. And oh my goodness, Trauma's able to win the 1v1, jumping and taking out another. Oh my goodness, massive plays right now coming out of final strike. He's got wings. He can fly. You know, yeah. I believe it. I guess. <laughs> I believe it. Trauma single-handedly wins this round for Final Strike. Puts them back into the lead. 
As UGK, they did a fantastic job at pumping the brakes, getting back to that site, dropping that bomb, and trying to play together where the win condition was either the objective or the trade battle. But Trauma cuts the difference, gets there quick, finds the first, jumps over the second, world stars him to the next century. And now three on the board for final strike. They're back into the lead roam here, back onto the attack, and it seems like that bomb in hand of Spida. Back into the original position that we do see, smoking out that cutaway. But look, a player snuck through Trauma, washes him out, finds Mirage. Yeah, Trauma with the big first blood right there. Just holding true, making sure that no player is going to be able to push up. You saw he did sneak through for a time, but they were able to sniff him out. So now it looks like they're going to be rotating back over toward this A site. And this player number two, Pro MR, he's got to go big. He is able to pick up one back there. It's only going to be one, but they are able to take down another one on the other side of the map. So 3v2 advantage right now for UGK. Bomb is down, though. So final strike is either you find these kills, or you find that bomb. It seems like they want those kills. Rome is Don's going to be on trauma on the trail right now of this player. Is he going to expect it? Nick Cade has to disengage it. Yeah, reads trauma like a book wide open word for word. 29 seconds. That bomb still down at A. And here comes the kill for that. We're back to an even playing field. Three to three UGK clawback. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know what that means, right, Seymour? But even closer to around 11. Oh, yeah. We're inching our way there. Oh, yeah. Big time. And, hey, listen, I'm feeling it right now. I called it about 15 minutes ago. I'm hoping it'll happen. We're only four rounds away, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see it happen. Let's see it. Switching sides once more. UGK, you know, they've been pretty prominent of taking this bomb to B. Like, over and over. But Final Strike, yeah. they just have this itching feeling that it's going to be an A, and this gamble is correct. Mirage leading the charge. Pete Assen going to put him in the dirt. It's Pro MR to drop first. And they cooked Mirage. Can he find anything on the end? No, it's not going to land. So, the first blood, untraded. Yeah, and this player is right in front of him. He has no idea whatsoever. If he turns this corner, it is going to spell disaster for him, most likely. Somebody slipped the line. Yeah, he, he did. He was able to spot him, though. He is able to take him out. Nice play to even things up. So that's exactly the type of plays that you need out of Mirage. Not sure exactly why he was there, but it looked like he was just trying to get a little bit advantageous with his positioning, but it ended up coming back to bite him. I'm talking about Nick right now. Oh, he's all the way in the back. He's funny. Trauma he is going to trade it again, but here you call it. Spider, as patient as ever, finds Mirage, puts that bomb down. Juju makes it a 1v1. Three kills in a row. He's got the streak to worry about, but look at player number five. This is such a heads up play from Pete Asin. He's going to make the heavy rotation all the way back through. Juju making so much noise, walking right into lines, but oh no, pumps the break. Back to B we go. It's going to be free bomb plan, and Juju's going to put the clock on, but I think Pete Asin's going to read this like a book. This is perfect timing. It looks like Final Strike going to go up into the round. Four to three. Yeah, exactly. Nice play coming out. He read the rotation. He saw him through the window. He realized, okay, cool. You're not going to be going there. I'll catch you there. Saw him dropping down. He was able to land the initial bullets and just needed to finish him off a little bit there with a little love tap. So there we go. Four to three advantage coming out of final strike right now. They're ahead of UGK and they're looking to send them to the loser's bracket. This could be very, very interesting. It definitely could. You know, I, I think I've definitely thought Team Final Strike would be final boss here in this game five on Bokash. You know, the Search and Destroy has looked impeccable, but UGK, they showed their own on Search on Bokash in their previous round in their semifinals. So I knew they wouldn't be too far out of the count. With this advantage now, if Team Final Strike can find this round, put two in a row on the board and put themselves on grand, uh, match point, they might be able to punch their ticket there. Spawn goes down, Spida into the back line, wins a big one-on-one. -on -one. Trey's going to be there from Nick. 3v3, 35 seconds. Yeah, the bomb's already down, though, and this could be a very sticky situation for this UGK squad. You can see Nick, though, he's going to go ahead and hop onto that bomb right now. No, he's, he's going to stick it. it out. Yeah, he's going to try to stick it. Oh, my goodness, and he's going to get it. What? Wait, did he not? No, he didn't get it. Oh, my God, he got him off the last second. Oh, but they're able to get back on the bomb. Oh, my goodness, that was almost absolutely insane. Wow, UGK barely able to clutch up right there. We're looking at a 4-4 now. What? What just happened? I thought he had it. 
I thought he had it too. It had to be like <laughs> 0.2 seconds. I saw the I, still moving. I'm like, oh, it's not over. I, I don't know if you remember um, Champs, Cold Wars, on Express Search and Destroy. I can't remember what team it was, but they had like, I think it was Toronto Ultra for like one of the grand final points. They were yeah. like 0.15 yeah. seconds away from getting that defuse and then Faith yeah. clutched up. Absolutely iced up. Well, I mean, a little bit of PTSD right now. Oh yeah, right now, big time, man. Four to four, he's gonna be challenging the window. It's gonna be a massive first blood mirage. He's feeling himself, ladies and gentlemen. UGK, they get the first blood of the 4-4 situation. They're gonna be bursting through the eight doors, ready to plant this bomb and take over this site completely. Are they gonna be putting this bomb down though? No, as Spida, he's able to get a kill in return. So it looks like they're gonna be fighting out of this one. Nice play coming out. Now, 2v2 though, as that play does get traded out as well. So here we are with Mirage, big fight on the backside. They're going to be making it a 2v1 now in their favor, um, uh, UTK. Being clutch himself. Finds the first 1v1 Mirage. Putting this bomb down now. As long as he has time, knows trauma is going to double back. Has both streaks to play with. But dropping that bomb in A kind of renders those streaks a little bit useless. Maybe for some information. But it looks like they're about to meet them each other on the edge. Trauma in behind Mirage. Going up the staircase and side by side. Here it comes, Mirage with the ice. UGK match point right now. Oh man, oh man, UGK, they're storming back two in a row now, getting that momentum. We got to see if Final Strike are going to be able to answer back or if UGK are going to be knocking them down to the loser's bracket. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Two must win rounds in a row coming out of Final Strike. They need to make it happen here. They need to make it happen now. You won around 11. I want to round 11. Final strike. They don't want to go to Lucis bracket. So let's make it happen right now. Trauma opens this one up. First blood on a Pro MR. That's a huge one. Big heavy hitter off the table, but Pro MR hasn't had the best game. Three and eight. So off it. Now he's going to be leaving this round in his teammates' hands. Juju slides on in. It's going to be oh. dicey. Finds both of them. Bomb goes down. Not even planted. Flips the script. Oh my goodness. That was massive, Juju. Just went huge like i can't say it enough he flipped this entire game on its head the first blood came in from final strike it was looking so over mirage though does have the streak coming in and he's going to be able to get the kill and they're going to be able to finish it off and man oh man ugk with a strong performance ice ice baby man wow they were down they had to climb back and so they did those strikes from Mirage and they'd pay off that glide bomb saved for the last possible round that they needed. And they win it just like that. Now, that's going to push UGK.